Mm-hmm. I kind of want to know a little bit more about you first. Um, so maybe you can kind of tell us a little bit about like how long you've been sewing and, you know, the types of sewing that you kind of started with before you started Indie Stitch. Yeah, I started sewing pretty young. Being in Iowa, I was a part of 4-H and I just remember yeah. having little projects like a pot holder or a mini mm-hmm. quilt that I did. My mom sewed, so watching her um just kind of made it easier to get in there. And then after I ended 4-H in about sixth grade, and then after home ec, you know, the the little shorts that you make in there, I didn't Mm -hmm. sew at all in high school, nothing in college until I was um, pregnant with my first child. And I wanted curtains for my Mm -hmm. son's room. And I couldn't really find anything that I wanted. And so I created those. And then from there, it was just build and build and build um, until I got into clothing. So I think the first pattern that I ever made from an indie pattern was the um, leggings from Patterns for Pirates. And from there, it just kind of exploded. Once you find one pattern company, you find (laughs) another. And then it's just, you got a fabric stash and you just want to keep going. So it's it's a black hole, but it's wonderful. So it is. Yeah, I will say that's one of the things I like about your boxes is because it has introduced me to some pattern companies that I didn't know about yet. Like I thought I had Mm -hmm. a pretty good handle on them, but um, there's been a few that I've been introduced to through your subscription box. And I'm like, oh, I didn't even know about these people. And this is great. And then I kind of dive into their world of patterns and, you know, you just keep adding more patterns <laughs> to your Yeah, life. that is one of the best things is you can discover new pattern designers. And mm-hmm. we all know there are there are some bigger ones that we include, but we also have ones that are maybe just starting out. Mm-hmm. They reach out to me and they're like, hey, I have this pattern. Or I'll have a member reach out and say, hey, you really need to look at this person's patterns. And if they have the size range and they have kind of the general um, look that appeals to a wide range of sewists, Mm -hmm. then we like to include all sizes of independent designers. I love that you focus on independent designers. So is that kind of how the name Indie Stitch came about? Yeah, because that's how I learned to sew. And it... Um, I like their patterns more than the big four. The big Mm -hmm. four, you open up that tissue and it's just so (laughs) overwhelming. When I was just starting out, it was nice just to print off your size and uh, cut out the pattern. And it's very instant gratification. You can download Mm -hmm. it, print it, and you're sewing, you know, by the time you get your your fabric cut. And Um, then you can reprint in different sizes. You're not stuck to like, once you cut Mm -hmm. that tissue. Yeah. (laughs) That's kind of it. You know, you can't. Yeah. Just learn that you can print out individual sizes on Adobe. I didn't even know that you I could do that. Her to that. <laughs> <laughs> she was, was the whole time I've been cutting, you know, like printing the whole color and then cutting out my lines. Yeah, you got to go like, into the layers and yeah. Yes. The size. Yeah, or your two sizes if you're grading between them. Mm-hmm. That makes it very That's simple. Yeah, That's it amazing. does. I, I there are some like beginner companies that don't offer that feature yet, but Mm -hmm. most of them nowadays do. Mm -hmm. And I love that feature um, because then I'll cut, cut it out in my size. And then I save my um, pattern pieces in these giant like Ziploc bags that I get off Amazon. And I put a little piece of paper in the front that says what the pattern is, the company and the size. So Mm -hmm. if I ever need to like reprint it again, I'll, put the same pattern in there in a different size, but I'll have that same colored piece of paper separating the sizes. So it's all in the same bag, but it's different. And that's, I don't know, my OCD, I got to keep it all organized (laughs) and straight. And they all hang in my laundry room. Um, I can easily find my patterns, but I love that I can just print in that one size. 